Welcome builders and it is Jordi here and welcome to a tutorial video on my channel. I'm going to show you how to make the last house in my 13 upgrades video, the fortified mansion right at the end of it. This video has got over 200,000 views in the first five days, actually my best ever performing video. Um, it's built in the faithful texture pack which is very close to default and I'm using cylinders shaders. So yeah, let's get this recorded and before I do that, Let's have a quick look inside it. So you can see the inside here, the plenty of space for a survival base, just a town basically. You can have loads of people living in here. There's even farms, places for animals, loads of place for storage as well. There's a back garden, there's a front garden, there's an entrance gate, lots of towers, lots of nooks and crannies to have little PVP battles as well. It's quite a long tutorial, quite involved, a little bit complicated in parts, but most of it's pretty easy. It uses the 5x5 five five Minecraft building system, which I'm pioneering and I'm doing a lot of on my channel. So check out hashtag AndyZura5x5. Five five. You can see um, might be some doors that I've missed out when you go to watch the tutorial. Might be a few blocks here missing, but here and there, but never mind. Um, for example, this little door here, I don't think I put this in the tutorial, but that's the idea. The interior of this place, the interior walls, the staircases, the ladders, it is down to you. I don't want to take away all the creativity in the actual um, tutorial. So yes, yeah, staircases, walls, ladders, connecting rooms. These are the kind of things you would add to the build probably could do with a door into that big tower there on that corner. As you can see, it's got a main house with kind of bone walls and wooden walls, plenty of windows, plenty of spots where you could divide up the rooms as well. And you're gonna need to provide some, some nice staircases as well. So it's a huge build, um, involved, complicated, but pretty cool. I'm really happy with it. And it just kind of looks good from the outside. Imagine coming across this in a survival world. Okay, well, that's some nice views. Let's have a look on the start of it. What can we do? If you want some nice pictures of this build as well, follow me on Instagram, Mike. The first thing we need to do is mark out a big square and put some water around it. Now, the square itself is 45 by 45, and the water is three. Make it out of cobblestone or maybe something like andesite. Come into diagonal blocks as marked out by the pumpkins from the corner and we're going to start with a little five by five square made of polished andesite add another four blocks on top and seal that round at the top to make a five by five cube polished andesite or as i like to call it polished andesiodesite oh by the way quick tip if you like a vpn for your computer or phone or tablet or laptop Check out TorGuard, TorGuard.net. Use the code AndyZoda50 for 50% off your whole process there with TorGuard. Okay, you need six of these little cubes in total, six of these five by five cubes, and you can see they overlap as well. They share the internal walls. Add on another four like that. And then we're gonna make a little T-shape. Add on another four to make that T-shape. You can see exactly where it's supposed to be. Then add on six here, seven, or is it six? Six. And then another row of six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then come down here towards the, uh, what would it be, southeast corner. That's where we're heading now. We're sitting in the northeast corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then two more to make eight. Really, you want to finish two blocks shy of the end of the andesite base. Then we're going to come in another two. That's going to form the big base of the big tower. And then we're going to find a little walkway to the side of that tower. And that's those two last cubes. So that's the main cubes. You might want to pause the video here as I move the video up. And you can see um, the whole pattern of these five by five blocks. So pause it about there. Okay, next we want to do the sides of the towers, but first of all, we're going to build the tower. So add another five by five block on top of that southwest corner tower. And then there's a middle tower. 
and it gets two five by five blocks. So the whole middle tower should be 15 blocks high in total. The towers don't share uh, a line of andesite like the, the sides do. So that middle tower is two blocks high and the tower in this corner, just like the middle tower, is three blocks high in total. This uh, double width tower uh, is a three blocks high in total as well. And there we go, all the towers are complete. Now the sides of these towers are all exactly the same. So let me show you how to do a couple of these. First of all, we wanna take out these joining middle blocks. And we're gonna go alternate, polished, and desiodocite all the way to the top, just like that. You can fill in the gap here with some cobblestone. Now I've, um, I'm recording in Minecraft 1.12. If you've got Minecraft 1.13 or more, you could put uh, Dead Brainy Coral, and that looks really nice as well. All the sides are exactly the same. There we go, every single one exactly the same, all the way up, all four sides. So let's just speed little Yoda up. He's a little green blur. So that's gonna take you a bit of time, of course. And once that's all done, you've done probably the majority of the hard work. Okay, now we need some single skin walls. Again, little five by five squares. So add on another three of them. Leave a gap where two could fit in and then add one onto that southwest tower. Now we're going to spin round to the northwest garden. And you can see we're just repeating this, <coughs> excuse me, single skin wall all the way around. Again, marking in these little five by five sections, the outer wall is built in little five by five sections, as is the entire build. And the great thing about the five by five system is when you add something to your build, you just extend it and uh, improve it and add on to it. And that's why I did in my video, five by five at a time. Okay, once you're off the bottom floor, you actually come up only four blocks here. This is for the main house, and we're gonna make it out of wood. If you'd like to download this build and all the 13 little bits that go to feed into it, then check my check out my patreon.com forward slash Andy's Yoda. The first of every month, all my builds downloadable. Patreon.com forward slash Andy's Yoda. Okay, you can see you need to do eight of them plus two to connect to the tower. So that's ten of those little four high five by five wooden um, rectangles. Two more there connecting to the middle tower and what we're going to do now is have a little corridor of these uh, down the base here in the courtyard. So mark out where these would be on the floor with some polished andesite again. And then we're going to add in these little four high five by five wooden sections. Now we can build in one more sticking out there, um, taking us towards the middle tower. That will get extended a little bit later on. Right, uh, the house has two stories, plus the kind of underneath basement. So we need to add on another layer. And this is a little two by four section of these to make eight in total. There we go. I'm just gonna swing the camera around, give you a good look at this build. Okay, great. Uh, next deal is some polished diarrheaite. Everyone likes to polish their diarrhea, right? This needs to get put in these sections. I'm using a quick tool just to speed things up for the video here. It's called Voxel Sniper if you're interested in this tool. Um, we need some grass in here. I'm 
going to put some spruce trees in here towards the end of the video. Great. All these bits here need to be connected up. This is a little bit laborious, this bit. You might want to wait until I'm finished because I make a little mistake here but quickly realize what I've done and correct myself. So a couple of these weren't really needed and I'm just about to realize that. So hold on, we're gonna make room for the farm. So I'm actually gonna take out those ones and those ones and those ones. This little indent here can be put in. Okay, looking good so far. Okay, here we're gonna um, provide kind of an internal walkway, kind of a wooden walkway. So I'm marking out these uh, blocks here in wooden log, but there's a gap of three, simple gap of three between each one of them. As you can see, a gap of three that way and a gap of three that way as well. So this is a little raised walkway around the Northwest Garden. I'm actually going to add these slabs in as well. And let's grab some grass. And I'm going to make the garden back here. And I'm going to put a simple tree in this garden. I actually build the tree by hand. Um, but you could put, you could plant just a normal Minecraft tree would be fine as well. A big oak tree or something if you can get one of them to grow. That would look mighty fine. Anyway, so just marking the grass, you can see I haven't done the outside kind of border, if you know what I mean. And um, we're going to put some stairs there. Any stairs you like, I've chosen uh, stone brick stairs. There we go, Northwest Garden. Now, the rest of this is kind of like a pathway, and I thought uh, a nice pathway would be uh, cobblestone as well using my special voxel sniper tool just to make this a bit faster. Big shout out to the Builders Refuge server where I actually built this. But I'll move it onto my server as well, details in the description so you can come onto my server and have a look at it. Okay, the pathway is looking great. What we want to do now is um, work on some more walkways I think. Oh, no, first of all, the farm. So I've used World Edit just to fill that area. Hopefully you can see exactly the whole area of the farm, especially when I run about here with my water for the crops. You can see exactly where all the grass goes. Oops. Cool. Okay, all that needs to be turned into, uh, obviously, farmland. And of course, uh, plant it up with the choice of your crops. I don't think I bother uh, planting them in this video. Maybe towards the end I will have done it. Wonderful. Uh, join that little gap up there. And we'll just bring that line across there. And again, just divide it up into, f into f uh, fives. Gaps of three. Cool, just holding the camera there so you can catch up. What we're going to do now is grab some oak wood slabs. So these are upper oak wood slabs. And we're going to go a bit crazy with these. These need to go everywhere. You're going to need a lot of materials. I hope to write a guide um, to build this, including how many blocks it is and pictures of every single stage. It's going to take me maybe a day or two to write that guide, but that'll be on Patreon as well. Um, just $1 and you can get a building guide. A series of pictures to show you every single stage as well if you find the, diff the video difficult to follow or maybe you need to use both video and the guide the guide will be in the form of a, a pdf uh, document which anyone should be able to open 
on their phone or on their computer. Patreon.com forward slash Andy is Yoda. Okay, now uh, we've got a horrible stage coming up. You don't need to do this if you don't want to, but I don't know. For some reason, I thought this looked good. I'm going to add cobblestone stairs literally everywhere. <laughs> everywhere we've got andesite walls coming up here. We're going to add these upside down cobblestone stairs. And by the way, as I record this, irritatingly, I'm going to forget a few. Um, so please don't point it out in the comments. I know, <laughs> I, I think I spot it mostly by the very, very end of the video. I've spotted all the ones I'm missing. But you can see there's a lot of these to add in absolutely everywhere. So what we think I'll do is, um, yeah, we'll emerge from Yoda's head and we'll just turn him into a little green alien blur and uh, send him off in his merry way, putting all these in. Don't forget the outside walls as well. One last one there. Okay, yeah, looking good. I've just spotted another one <laughs> that I've missed. Oh, there's a few there right in front of me. And I didn't even see them. Never mind. I picked them up towards the end of the videos. Right, we want to go uh, a bit more crazy with our upper oak slabs. So we're going to bring this path across here. And then right into the house. We're not going to put them there. No, that's where trees are going to grow. But definitely round about here. Okay, there was a lot of them. I did warn you. In fact, we've got more to do over on the main house as well. So what's quite quick for me with this handy tool might take you a little while. But... Even though this is a big project, I know you guys will build it. People say in the comments, they tell me all the time. <clears throat> it was complicated, Andy, but I managed it. And some of you will even do it in survival, which... Ah, it's so amazing. Right, the towers all get this little upside-down trim of stone brick stairs. And then on top of that, an outer ring of stone bricks make a 7x7 seven seven square and then alternate bricks all the way around definitely in the corners and then two in the middle to make this little parapet or battlements and again you could put some um, slabs at the top don't forget to make a little hole and put a ladder up as well something that's down to you I'm not going to do it in this tutorial yeah, all the towers exactly the same. Oh, inside that tower, I put several floors of oak wood planks. That's the one thing which wasn't featured in the video. We just couldn't see where I was. It was inside the tower. Okay, it's looking good now. Pretty good progress. Just under halfway there, I think. Now here I decided to get rid of these uh, cross pieces because this is where we're going to plant some trees later on. So I took those out and that kind of makes sense. And what I'll do is just move the camera slowly around for a few minutes here. Well, a few seconds really, just so you can see exactly what's been done. Maybe you've made a mistake, maybe you need to catch up. Try and get it perfect.
Okay, quality. Right. Um, now get some white block. A bone block is fine. That's what I, I like bone block from my walls here. White wool is good. Concrete is good. In fact, just about anything. Even kind of a quite a pink block is fine as well. Anyway, little uh, three by three shape, and we're going to put one uh, pane of glass in it as well. So these go all the way around the bottom. This one here is actually going to be a door. So mark out a door space. That one's going to be a window. Same at the other end. That one's going to be a window and this one's going to be a door. Great. Now the upper floor I like to make wood. People tell me this build is very flat sometimes. I noticed a few comments. Not many people, but the idea is to make it look like a Mojang village house gone, <laughs> gone crazy. Um, and the reason it's quite flat is, well, it's on purpose. It lacks depth. But what you can do is you can add depth. You could add extra pillars on the outside. That's the kind of a coating. Upgrade it. Add detail. But I like to start with this flat, basic 5x5 five five shape and then add my depth and add my detail. Or not even bother and just be... Um, satisfied that it still retains that look and feel of a Mojang village even though it's a much bigger expanded house. It makes it instantly recognizable as as Minecraft. It just looks like if Mojang employed Andy Zoda to make their villages. <laughs> That's what it should look like. Okay, I've missed out a window pane as you can see, never mind. I'm gonna put on a little balcony, so stick out and uh, two bits of oak log. Grab some slabs, carve out a space for the door, and hey presto, with some spruce fence, you have managed to get yourself a little one by one thick, or one one wide, uh, nine long balcony. Add a door. And they're going to do the same on the other side. So this little balcony um, starts life right in the middle of the house. Trapdoor time. So as you can see, I'm placing these facing that way. I'm going to speed this up because a lot of trapdoors. The trapdoors need to go on every single window on both the floors. Great. Okay, quick look at the finished build. Hmm. Well, we've got the roof to do. So we're gonna grab some brick stairs. Those are the key blocks. Once you get those blocks in place, the rest of the roof just kind of just builds itself. So there we go. So that's the key block there. And then you just come up. Key block there makes it very simple to come up upside down, correct the way up, alternate, aiming them towards the middle. Very standard Minecraft roof to be honest. One upside down in the middle and we can bring up the oak logs and the oak planks just to fill in the gaps here. You could add some more windows if you want attic windows as well. And there we go. Right, the exact same thing on the other side. And then, of course, you've got to fill in the gaps here just to make your roof. Uh, what we can do is just emerge from Yoda's head and just speed this up. You're going to need some uh, brick slabs for the very top middle as well. Coming to them in a second. Okay. 
Oh, don't forget this end here. As you can see at the very top at the ends, I've put um, an upside, well, correct the way up brick stair, just facing out the way. Um, I'm sure you've got a nice way of finishing off roofs as well. Quality? Okay, great. Roof complete. Oh, nice little bit of detail or trim. So opposite the wooden logs or the corner of the roof, so opposite the wooden, but when you get to the corners, do it on the corners. Just add some dark oak uh, down pieces like this. And then we want to join it up here with some gates. Now I'm filming in Minecraft 1.12, so I couldn't just slap the gates onto the wall. I had to provide some um, support. So I'm gonna use some uh, yellow wool to support my gates all the way around. A little bit irritating and a big bonus in Minecraft 1.13 when you don't need to provide something under a gate to place the block. Kind of joined up thinking by Mojang. Okay, here we go. Uh, so this is all, is it all dark oak? I think this is all dark oak. Dark oak fence pieces and dark oak gates all the way around. Now we can get rid of the wool. And we'll just speed the little Yoda up. Come on, get rid of that wool. Hurry up. Um, I'm gonna move the camera around kind of slowly as well and just give you a chance to have another look at the build from different angles and make sure you haven't missed any of the details and the house looks exactly the same or different. You might just go off on a tangent and, and build it the way you want to build it as well. So I would say that's the main living area of the house. Right, you need these blocks in the foreground, so um, pause the video or just catch up as I build. But the main one is some cobblestone. So we're gonna go up five cobblestones, one, two, three, four, five, and grab some chiseled stone blocks and some polished diorite. The polished diorite goes in the middle and then stairs on top of the chiseled and stairs upside down at the top of the cobblestone. Stairs facing in the way and then one in the middle facing out the way. Same with that one. And then upside down facing out the way stairs. So this is providing a little bit of trim and extra wall on the outside. Trap door in the middle. Your choice of red block in the middle above the trap door. Add, an, add some wings on going quite fast here but we've got some slabs as you can see stone slabs and then just put some in between the um, upside down stairs as well one two three so if you didn't see that if it's too fast don't worry we're going to do it again a couple of times in fact two or three times one more slab there and then three bits and that makes you a little f um, five wide section so let's do it a couple more times just to make sure you've got the hang of it so we need to come up uh, five bits of cobblestone. Oh, by the way, on the inside wall, what you can do is make a little inverted or upside down T-shape with a wall in between. So it's one, two, three, four, five, take out the middle one and stick in a wall. That should really be done around the whole of the outside of the build. More polished diorite in the middle. Add the stairs in the right places. More chiseled stone bricks, more Trapidorus Maximus, your choice of red block. I think I've gone for nether wart or something. I'm just placing these up down, sorry, downstairs, excuse me, in the wrong place. So that's then back in the right place. Then you've got to grab your little stone slabs again.
one of those stone slabs has been placed in the wrong position there, but I'll soon fix that. And what you need to do is extend this along. So I'm going to just speed this up a little bit, but these sections are all absolutely identical and they should finish one shy of the end there. So add in another layer of cobblestone and just slowing down here to show you exactly this uh, procedure one more time. There's the inverted T with the wall that goes on the inside wall that's already there. So make sure that's done all the way along. I'm going to just do a few of them here on the camera. Run that upper wall um, around the whole deal. And then it's just a question of repeat, repeat, repeat. And hopefully you've got enough resources. Yeah, lots of different views there. Hopefully that's kind of sunk in by now. And once again, each time you build one of those sections, I'm afraid you've got to repeat it <laughs> again and again all the way along and then round the next side as well. So I apologize for using world edit there, but there was absolutely no way I was going to build that all uh, on camera. It would make the video about three hours long. There we go. So carry them on right to the space and that space is going to be a little gate. I've got one more little run of cobblestone to do. And there we go. Great progress is made. We've got a nice fortified wall around the whole build. It should look exactly like that. Okay, um, over here I'm just providing a little bit of an awning or sunshade area, pulling the oak logs across, adding on some Trapedorus Maximus, little spruce wood fence around a lot of them. And bring it across there. And then I'm going to add a little pattern of yellow and red carpet. I'm adding a bit of trim here, which is quite a nice thing to do around the main house. This is an upper slab of spruce. Um, we'll add it onto the other side, the far side of the house, a little bit later on. Join this little gap up here between the house and the tower. I'll add a door in that tower uh, as well. And you want to add in some floors for your towers as well. And probably some little windows no, that's not a good place for a door, Yoda. You want um, some windows, or I like to use bars in the towers, like that. And I'll go back and add a door on there a little bit later on. In fact, do I add it in at the, the start of the video? I think that's what I did at the start of the video. Okay, uh, bring these spruce fences round like this, and like this. And all the way across to here, just about. Now we want to make this little sunshade walkway. I like this. Little shaded walkway can add a lot of atmosphere to your build. So this is a great thing to do. Even if you don't do this build, if you're just watching this video for the enjoyment of watching me build, this is a really cool thing to do. It's like a little trellis or shaded walkway and it's simply made by fences. And towards the end of the video I'm going to add some uh, leaves on top. And what you can actually do is take out some of the fences and put the leaves in as if the leaves are really growing as part of the wooden trellis and you couldn't even see it anymore so it's um, a wooden sunshade or trellis might be the fancy word okay so I'm going to add a door here because we've got a level of as you can see slabs on the inside I'm going to add a nice balcony on this double width tower so you can see how that's done on the corners and in the middles just bringing out two blocks of wood and then filling in the gaps with upper oak slabs and then I'm going to run around the outside of that with um, some spruce fences as well. Stop all the little people falling off. Okay, 
Cool. Uh, on the towers, we're going to add some flags, I think, at this stage. So we're going to grab uh, six bits of birch fence for the flags. Six. And then your choice of flag, whatever design you like. This is the one I prefer. And then you can put those flags on whatever towers you like. There you go. I've put four on. And try and make sure the wind is blowing in the same direction. All the flags should be facing the same way. Cool. Okay, now we can start to work on the inner courtyard. So I'm just going to bring out another little couple of 5x5 five five shapes here. And then just fill these in with more upper oak slabs. And there's another one. And another one. This one's going to come up here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four again to make a little four by four times five square. Join it on there so we can have a little corridor coming along. And then same over here. Just bring that along and we can put some nice oak into here as well. And that means we've got a nice continuous walkway uh, all the way along there. Again, up four blocks here. Let's make another little Mojangy 5x5 village house shape. And I'm going to bring it up one more block. So it looks like one of those village houses that have the fences round at the top like that. Wrap a spruce wood fence round here. And over here I decided to do another covered walkway. So spam your fences. On top of the original fence, just two fences. And then you've got a third one if you like on top of that but that's just going to be spammed everywhere forms a little wooden trellis cool and we'll add bushes to that later on it looks so epic once you've done that especially if you're lucky enough to have shaders like i've got i'm building on java pc version right we're jumping into yoda's head upside down spruce wood stairs here to perform this and again another sort of covered walkway and uh, we need some um, trapdoors. <clears throat> Great. Once that's done, we need to put uh, a roof on that, really. And I'm just going to put on a kind of a bog standard Minecraft uh, stairs roof. So hopefully this kind of stair roof is just nothing new to you and is really simple. Oh, before we do the rest of the roof, we could add a little door here into the tower. And another little door there would be pretty cool as well. Uh, just here, I normally would put these slabs one half block higher, but I thought it'd be quite cool to have another little walkway along the top of the roof. Is it cool or is it just a bit weird? I didn't do this in the original video, it's something I thought of as I was recording it, but yeah, an extra little walkway along the top of the roof into this tower, kind of a sneaky or emergency defensive uh, route back to the middle tower. Down here in the garden, um, that's too high, we're going to just add on another upper walkway. So you can see the corners next to the doors have got a full 5x5 five five shape there. And then the middle bits of this walkway are just sticking out by two. Does that make sense? I think it looks for quite a, makes for quite a cool walkway. And don't forget to add some spruce like that. Nice. Oh, that's the upper slab um, of spruce that I forgot to do before. 
and then just go crazy with your own tree design or grow one from a sapling. Northwest garden complete. And again, we'll just move the camera slowly around in case you need to catch up or check on some details. Cool, nearly finished. Now we're going to make this little round abode, round little house. So it's two, five, one, two, one, and then five, no, sorry, two, five, <laughs> two, one, two, and then five, one, two, three, like that. And then two more would be actually already done for you. So that's a five, two, one, two, five circle, if you like. Uh, we're going to Yoda's head. I'm just going to bring this up another four blocks there. Miss one, bring it up. So the fives are going to have some windows. Uh, actually, here we're going to have some planks. I think I maybe forget about those planks later on. I'm not too sure. Anyway, these fives are supposed to have windows, and I've just forgotten about them so hack in those wind that's where windows are gonna go that one could be planks I did planks on the right hand side I've forgotten to do planks on the left hand side <clears throat> so again that's a five as you can see it's a five now here we want a two should be a two like that and then just add on a one and then bring those up doesn't need to look completely perfect Add some cross pieces there. I think this is the most complicated part of the build, actually. Don't get put off. Don't worry too much if you can't get this perfect. I'm going to put some windows in there. So upper and... Sorry, correct the way up and upside down spruce stairs. And we'll put some glass into those gaps. Good places to add a, a fire into this kind of smoky roundhouse. Just take care you've got fire spread turned off before you start lighting a fire inside all that space. I've quickly added a, a wooden floor in there using a command. Okay, so now it's roof. So this roof starts life as slabs, <clears throat> which go around the outside of the build, but don't go on the diagonals, if, that, if you know what I mean. So take away that one because it was on the diagonal. The ones on the next level definitely do have the diagonals filled in. So you could actually walk around those slabs without falling off. It's a continuous path with the corner blocks or diagonals added in. So bring that right round to there. And then we can actually fill this in as well. This is kind of an upper little tower here. Simple uh, wooden planks, you can add some windows, doors, whatever you want. I'll leave it up to you. Right, we're going to go keep on going around the outside with these slabs here to build up the roof of the round house. And the 5x5 five five system is quite a square system. <clears throat> you end up lots of squares and rectangles. So it's really good to add in some round features. I don't think both sides of my roof were exactly the same. I'm kind of looking at that going, hmm, not exactly the same. I wasn't even worried. I don't want it to be absolutely block perfect. I think that's fairly similar. I'm just going to add another block there. But all I'm going to do is keep on going, coming up by half a slab each time. So we just keep going uh, up another level. Just coming inside by one block each time. Final level. I'm uh, going to take out those two blocks just to raise it up with a bit more interest. We block off that window, of course. But yeah, I can live with that. Looking pretty good so far. Right, a little bit of work to do in the floor in here. Again, just using the 5x5 system. Marking out these little areas where we can put some, again, upper oak wood slabs and that will just finish things off nicely not much to do in this build here i think the entrance 
um, a chimney, some dormer windows. I can see those walls there. I haven't got the cobblestone and wall implant kind of in them yet, so that's a little detail to take care of. There we go. And the great thing about this is you can still see through these little gaps on the stairs and you can use the wall block in the middle, which means you can see through where the trap door is as well. So uh, I do like that little design. Hopefully you do as well. Maybe even you'll come up with your own one. Okay, so just here, extra bit of detail. Very simple. A couple of fences, just marking out the area. And um, we're going to use some trap doors and again some carpet. Just to create a little bit of a sunshade area. Quite atmospheric this build, lots of little nooks and crannies, corridors, passageways, um, little doors, windows, gaps and little glimpses of what's beyond the farm or the garden, trees. So yeah, this build turned out really nicely, it's got a nice little pattern to it. And if you want to download this build, then check out patreon.com forward slash Andy's Yoda. All my builds downloadable every single month on the first. I might even do this one early, actually. Um, just adding another couple of blocks there. I'm not too sure why I put that oak wood there. I might want to miss that out. Um, a funky little staircase here connecting up to the middle tower. And a little slab leading over to that one there. Perfect. Okay, I actually nearly finished this. Quite a long tutorial, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. Not much to do now. Going to hold the camera here nice and still, because move it around slowly. Put on some um, bushes. Every build looks good when you put the bushes back on. And this will give you a chance here to spot any details you might have missed. So the covered walkways are getting the, the bushes treatment. You could also put vines hanging from the leaves as well. And actually also put the bushes into the frame there just by removing one or two of the bits. Okay, grab all this, these blocks here. Pause the uh, camera, grab those blocks. We're gonna work on the entrance. Okay, time for some counting, I think. So right here, we're gonna go for, I think it's five. One, three, four, five stone bricks, both sides. And then polished diarrhea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gonna make a little, um, what do you call it, drawbridge. So these are dispensers. <clears throat> nice stone slabs on top. I haven't used many stone slabs in this build. Maybe on the outside wall I did, but I think they look epic. <clears throat> okay, turning those uh, stairs like that makes it look like a hinge, which is pretty cool. And then there and there, a little spot where the drawbridge can kind of just be aimed for, I suppose. And then some slabs to finish things off in the middle. Okay, next it's the turn of upside down stone brick stairs. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, the own bit, the little that goes right there and there. And then we've got two plops of polished diarrhea to poop down right there. Upside down stairs, stair, block, block, stair, stair. Three blocks on top in the middle. And then I think it's chiseled. No, no, more dispensers there. I think the chisel blocks are coming up. Chiseled stone blocks, one, two, three. Um, and then up, up, up again in the middle with stone bricks. Stair there. And I think it's more polished diorite. Boom, boom. And then banners. Yeah, banners on top. I've just gone for yellow banners. Maybe you have your own custom banner. I'm rubbish at making them, so I always just uh, chicken out. Oh, right, yeah, a little bit of work to do on the inside here. So, just come across with stone brick to start with. Oh, that's too high. Um, right there is good. Right, oak coming across to make another little 5x5 five five 
famous shape, and this is going to lead into this little tower now here. So again, just look for the uprights and come across, and you're going to be firmly in the 5x5 five five system. More walkway, upper oak slabs, it's really filling in this whole area. And we can make a nice little uh, door into the uh, southwest tower. You might want to put some windows as well made of iron bars. I think I'll probably forget to do that in this video, but yeah, doors, iron bars, ladders climbing up to the roof as well. You can do this in all the towers, of course. I'm just doing one example. There we are. Great. Okay, just, yeah, just um, very few details to do. Add a little fence along here. If you do build it, please add me on Instagram. Send me some pictures of what you've built. I'd love to hear from you. Or Twitter. <laughs> Everything's Andy is Yoda on social media. Here's some spruce trees. Add uh, a nice vertical element to the build. Spruce trees. Really very cool. Okay, so spruce slab. Cobblestone stairs. Cobblestone itself. Cobweb. Um, we've got oak, it's wood, it's some glass, and spruce is as well. This is going to help us build the chimney and the dormer windows in the main house. And then we're done. We're done. Okay, this chimney, super simple. I just usually slap down three blocks of cobblestone. You'll have to do the chimney on the inside, by the way. I'm not going to bother. Um, bring this chimney up as high as you want. And then a single block on the middle at the side... Same on the other side, doesn't matter what height, I'm not even counting, just make it up as you go along. Every chimney should be kind of different. Single block in the middle, I'm going to go for a wall block, and then I'm going to add on some cobwebs. You'll have to see the cobwebs later. My cameraman is moving on, <laughs> onto the dormer. <clears throat> okay, so counting four blocks here from the side. and remove the second stair up from the bottom. Come up three Ocus Woodus, a gap of one, and three more blocks behind, but we're gonna remove the bottom block. There we go. Uh, cross piece, couple of glass panes, and you can start your little dormer roof. Hopefully it's pretty easy just to copy by watching. Just take care that uh, they join onto the brick. So remove that one, joins on nicely. Remove that one, joins on. Same below. Okay, um, so for the finish, up, that was an upside down, and that's correct the way out, but facing the opposite direction. And some little slabs just to finish things off. And what you want to do is um, duplicate that, I think. You can put one in the middle if you want. I've put two uh, on each side. And that's the end of the video. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going to be having some more 13 upgrade videos coming very soon on my channel, so check them out. We're we'll starting work on them today. Thank you very much for watching. Unbelievable. Long, long tutorial, but a fun build. And hopefully you got something out of this. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Ciao, ciao. May the blocks be with you.